I'm pleased now to welcome Ambassador Annika Bin David, Sweden's Ambassador at Large for Human Rights, Democracy and the Rule of Law. So Ambassador, 2021 marks the 100th year since the adoption of universal suffrage in Sweden, and your government has been promoting a major drive for democracy. Why is this a priority as countries seek to recover and rebuild after the pandemic? Thank you very much, Director General, dear participants, dear co-panelists. I'm honored to speak on behalf of the government of Sweden at this important uh, venue. Uh, and indeed, Madam Director General, we are marking an important year in Sweden uh, 2021. It's the 100th anniversary, as you said, of universal suffrage. And uh, I think equality and gender equality in particular is something that is absolutely necessary for peaceful, just and inclusive societies. Without it, we will not achieve sustainable development. And this is why Sweden has a feminist government, the first of its kind in the world, and a feminist foreign policy since several years. We, we are convinced that democracy is the best foundation for a sustainable, peaceful and inclusive society. Research demonstrates that democratic and equal societies provide opportunities for each and every one to achieve their full potential and participate in the, in the development of society in a way that other systems of government cannot do. Democratic societies provide uh, rule of law and human rights for all and SDG 16 provides an opportunity for us to reach this as an enabler for the entire 2030 agenda. As we have heard in the previous session, and as we're all very much aware, uh, the world is facing perhaps the greatest challenge of our time. Uh, the pandemic has exposed weaknesses, as we heard from Madame Tete, before uh, in our public institutions and systems, not least uh, in healthcare. And while this shows that SDG 16 is more important than ever, it has also put us further behind the realization of this goal and it has exacerbated our common challenges. Um, even before the pandemic struck, the multilateral system, the rules-based world order and democratic principles were being put into question. Respect for human rights and the rule of law was on the decline and democratic institutions were being weakened. And this trend has been further compound, compounded by the pandemic. It has accelerated uh, the decline of democracy worldwide. So against this uh, backdrop of, of negative global trends on democracy, Sweden launched in 2019 uh, a Drive for Democracy, a foreign policy initiative that mobilizes our entire foreign service, our three ministers and our 100 plus foreign missions. It is reflected in all areas of our foreign policy. It involves providing support and sustenance wherever democracy can grow and expressing criticism when democracy is eroded. We have, uh, among other things, increased our democracy support and we will stand up for democracy's defenders and institutions. Now, translating the drive for democracy, this foreign policy initiative into the context of the pandemic means that we must ensure that actions to combat the pandemic don't undermine or disregard democratic institutions and processes. In our view, the response must have gender equality, human rights, democracy, and the rule of law at its core. Let me please, Madam Director General, go into four areas that we believe are crucial in our efforts to build back better. First, accountability. Some states use the current situation as a pretext or an excuse to restrict human rights, such as the freedom of movement, freedom of expression or privacy. We must be vigilant and prevent the pandemic from, from becoming a breeding ground for governmental overreach. Therefore, it's crucial that we together make sure that there will be accountability 
for any human rights violations or abuses during this crisis, as well as for any undermining of democratic principles or the rule of law. We must ensure that emergency actions and law, laws are only temporary and that when they are being issued are in line with international law and the rule of law. Checks and balances must be ensured between the legislative, executive and judicial powers. In this respect, we appreciate the rule of law based approach to the pandemic presented by ILO. Second, institution building. To strengthen the capacity, accountability, transparency and effectiveness of public institutions in line with SDG 16 is absolutely key. This has been further made clear by the pandemic and the challenges faced when addressing it. Strong democratic institutions are necessary when recovering and rebuilding from the pandemic, as well as for addressing future crises. Building institutional capacity must be addressed, must also be addressed through a human rights based approach. Third, ensuring a free and independent media. We have witnessed the negative impact that measures to combat the COVID-19 virus has had on civil society and free and independent media. We also know that restrictions on media, on free media, is one of the first signs of democratic backsliding. Ensuring the right to freedom of expression, information and information online as well as offline is crucial. Free and independent media play a critical role in ensuring individuals that our individuals are well informed and able to participate meaningfully in democratic processes as well as to counter disinformation. They also contribute to hold those in power accountable. And fourth, bridging the digital divides. We must ensure that no one is left behind when rebuilding after the pandemic. The digital divides, including not least the gender digital divide, have been clearly exposed during the pandemic when large parts of the world have gone through a digital transformation. Access to open, free and secure digital technologies have enabled us to continue our lives, our work and our economies. They are important platforms for communication, for the enjoyment of human rights, for democratic engagement, access to information and to government services such as healthcare. But we know everyone has not been included. This is concerning and something to be aware of when we go into a post pandemic situation. Bridging the digital divides is a key aspect of fulfilling SDG 16 and building back better. To conclude, in the current context, we have seen that our drive for democracy is as relevant as ever. Because democracy can never be taken for granted, it's worth protecting every day. And we hope that you will join us, you all, as international cooperation is key to build back better and deliver on SDG 16 through a human rights based approach. Thank you very much.